We first opened about four blocks away at 11th in Detroit in a little building about a third this size. That was in 2005. Today, you'll find Fat Philly's cheesesteaks being grilled up right outside of downtown Tulsa. Owner Jason Smith says his new location seats about 100 hungry customers, and you'll find it nearly full nearly every day. I've always loved Philly cheesesteaks. It's Jason's passion, although his degree is in psychology. Before opening, he traveled the country in search of the perfect cheesesteak recipe. And I went to Philly and studied them down for about a week. I ate about 100 Philly cheesesteaks, I think, during that week. His search resulted in this, the Fat Philly's classic steak with onions, bell peppers, a lot of cheese, and one very special ingredient. What makes our specials, we put a little more love into it, I think. Jeremy Faulkner's been stopping in about once a month since they opened, ordering pretty much the same thing every time. The uh, seven inch fat with provolone instead of the cheddar. Seven inches or 11 inches. They're made fresh with whatever you can come up with. We're gonna mix the meat with the onions and the bell peppers and mushrooms, jalapenos if you want them, all black olives, egg, sausage, chili, whatever. We're gonna put it all and we're gonna mix it around and, and kind of blend it together and, and make it one. Make it become like a marriage. <laughs> I decided to try my own hand at that marriage, stepping into the kitchen to whip up a classic fat filly for lunch. Hey, Jason's coming for your guy's job over here, fellas. You better watch out. Making my own cheese. Add a little cheese on the bread, throw it on the grill, flip it over, add a little more cheese, and voila. That's not Man, bad looking. Stuff. Isn't that great? Regan might get on to you a little bit about this one. I think it's OK. <laughs> All right. You got to eat it, though. <laughs> Mine tasted great, and by the looks of it, so did the one Corey Roberts ordered. Are you ready? We picked the guy with the biggest mouth. That's good. How was it, dude? Corey also topped his meal off with a side order of chili cheese tots. I mean, if you're going to have this, you might as well have chili cheese tots. I mean. <laughs> This location hasn't always been a restaurant. For decades, it was a music store called Strings West. This was the place for musicians, big and small. The original owner wrote down every famous artist that walked through the door to buy an instrument or amp. Some just needed repairs. Weird Al Yankovic is over there from like 1982 or something when he rolled through here, and he's still playing these days. I don't know, that kind of trips me out a little bit. But. The tradition continues with recent autographs from actress Juliette Lewis and author Essie Hinton. She wrote Stay Gold on the uh, wall over there. You don't have to be famous to end up on the wall here. All it takes is a really big appetite, but you only have two hours. If you eat four or more, you get your picture on the wall. And then if you break the record, you get $100 and your picture on the wall. And uh, however many fillies you ate, you get a coupon for that many free, which no one ever comes back to use them after they eat nine fillies or whatever it is. I ate five. Easily. No, not easily, but I wasn't hurting too bad, but six would have hurt me. In Tulsa, I'm Jason Grubbs for Discover Oklahoma.